Hi, welcome to another session on revision, Common Test June 2012 paper. This time we look at question 1.2. Determine the average value and effective RMS value of the voltage waveform shown in the figure 1.2 below. Now in order to do uh, this uh, calculation, we need to understand the meaning of average value and effective RMS. Right, now in the sinusoidal waveform, average value in this case is the voltage. V average is the sum of area, sum of all area under the sinusoidal waveform. Divide by the period T. Period T. Right, so in this case, we have the first millisecond, 10 volt time, 1 millisecond, plus 5 volt times 2 milliseconds, the duration of 2 milliseconds plus minus 10 volts times 1 second and the total divided by the period T which in this case is 5 minutes so this gives me 10 10 20 minus 10 right so it's 10 over 5 that's 2 volts for average value. Now the RMS value is defined as the sum of all the squares, in this case the square multiplied by the duration t, the short duration t, divided by the period t but square root of the whole thing. Alright, so in this case for the first portion, I have 10 square times 1 plus 5 squares times 2 plus minus 10 square times 1. The whole thing divided by the duration, the cycle 5 divided by root 2. That gives me 10 by 10 is 100 plus 5 by 25, 25 by 2 is 50, minus 10 times minus 10 is 100, so I get 100, divided by 5, and the whole thing I have a square root. So that gives me 250, divided by 5 is 50, square root of 50. That's about 7.07 volt RMS value. Well, I hope you know the difference between the average value and the RMS value. Thanks for watching. That's all. Bye-bye.